Life will knock you between the eyes. It will catch you on the blind side, come out of nowhere, stuff you can't anticipate. That will knock the wind out of you. You want to give up. It's going to be very challenging. Whenever you decide that you want to grow, whenever you decide that you want to go to another level, all hell will break loose. It's hard. It's not easy. It's hard changing your life. And here's what I want to say to you. For those of you that have experienced some hardships, don't give up on your dream. There are moments when you're going to doubt yourself. There are rough times are going to come, but they have not come to stay. They have come to pass. We all go through problems. They don't have to overwhelm you, though. Problems don't have to take you out, though. Problems don't have to make your life miserable, though. Your problem is, you go back and run to your safety net. I can't do it, help! And you're going to be running to it for the rest of your life. Until you get to a point where you look at life and say, you will not beat me. It's easy to complain. It's easy to point out your circumstances. It's easy to talk about what has happened to you. It's easy to talk about your situation, what you're going through. But if you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, your life will be easy. See, it's easy to be on the bottom. It doesn't take any effort to be a loser. It doesn't take any motivation, any drive in order to stay down there at a low level. But it calls on everything in you, ladies and gentlemen. You have to harness your will to say, I'm going to challenge myself. Sometimes I have to pull myself out of bed and say, come on, let's. Things I know I should do, I don't do things I shouldn't do, I do. I found that the biggest enemy you have to deal with is yourself. Your problem is some of you are phenomenally skilled, but it is a phenomenal will that says every time I get knocked down, I will get back up and I will succeed. I will not surrender. You have something great in you. You can do it. Where you are is temporary. You will not be there for the rest of your life. It might last for a second, it might last for a minute, it might last for an hour, it might last for a week, it might last for a day, it might last for months. But sooner or later, if you do not surrender, if you do not give up, if you do not give in, it will subside. You've got to say yes, yes to my dreams, yes to me, I can make it, yes I can. Doesn't matter how many failures I've made. Doesn't matter how many mistakes I've endured. Doesn't matter about my defeats. Doesn't matter about what I've done. I don't care about the fact I'm in a hole now. Doesn't matter about where I am. Yes, yes. The last chapter to my life has not been written yet. If you judge me now, you'll judge me prematurely. I haven't exposed all my stuff yet. I'm still in the process of transforming my life. I'm still in the process of becoming. Yes! You are great. You are unique. You are special. You are talented. And you deserve to have everything you want. And stop listening to the people who tell you you don't. Kill the noise. What do they know? Who are they? And when that thing tells you to quit, you look at it in his eye and say, I ain't going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. You will not defeat me. You will not destroy me. You've been through so much hell. You gonna quit now? You don't quit now. It's the 10th round. You got two more to go. And when you get to success, it's not about skill. When you get to a certain level of success, it's about stamina. It's about you won't break me. You can't take me. I fought too long. I fought too hard. It's too late now. You should have broke me a long time ago. I'm unbreakable now. When you're working, and you're trying to make things happen for your family, for yourself. But life keeps hitting you relentlessly when everything is telling you to quit. What keeps you going? I want to remind y'all of the power of the mind. You can think your way into stress. You can think your way into misery, frustration. But if you change your mind, it'll change your life. You just have to decide in your mind what you want it to be. You just have to wake up 
You just have to break that negative spirit. You have to break through. As we begin to look at what we want, what's going to be crucial for you is to look toward the future and every time you find yourself saying that you can't do something, putting yourself down, being negative about you and the possibilities for you, you've got to literally catch yourself. And you've got to affirm to yourself in the process, hey, 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 no, 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 I can make it. There's some way this can happen for me. It's the what if I can pull off a fucking miracle. What if I can become someone that no one thinks I can be? You got to say yes to your life. You've got to say yes, yes to my dreams. Yes to me, I can make it. Yes, I can. Doesn't matter how many failures I've made. Doesn't matter how many mistakes I've endured. Doesn't matter about my defeats. Doesn't matter about what I've done. Yes, yes. I don't care about the fact I'm in a hole now. Doesn't matter about where I am. Yes. The last chapter to my life has not been written yet. If you judge me now, you'll judge me prematurely. I haven't exposed all my stuff yet. I'm still in the process of transforming my life. I'm still in the process of becoming. Yes! Stand up for your dreams. Stand up for what you want in your life. Decide that your life is so meaningful to you, that you love you and you love life so much that you're gonna stand up for something you want. You have miracle working power in your life right now, but you've got to work on yourself. You've got to develop yourself. You've got to talk to yourself day in and day out, selling yourself on you and on your potentials. And you've got to know that you are worth all of your effort. There's no mistake that you can't rebound from. There's no mistake that you can't get back up from. You better be resilient. I don't care what happened. You can bounce back up again and make it happen. What I've gone through will not define me. The best is yet to come. I'm a fight to the finish because giving up is not an option. Being poor is not an option. Being set out in the cold is not an option. No, you're busy rebuilding. You are busy recalculating and making a radical change in yourself and asking yourself, what is it about me that I must change? You want to be committed to taking care of yourself. As you go into action, and as you hold that thought in consciousness persistently, you will begin to realize powers and abilities you have. You will realize you have miracle working power in you. When you're a warrior, you're willing to fight for your dream. You're willing to realize that you will fail your way to success. You're willing to make it okay if people don't like you or disagree with you. You're willing to fight even though the odds are stacked against you. You are willing to have a spirit of optimism when you've lost everything materialistically. But if you got a pulse, if you woke up this morning, you, when you're a warrior, you're willing to fight. You fight and you either win or you die trying. Everybody wants to be a beast. Everybody wants to be number one. Everybody wants to be the best. Everybody wants to succeed. Everybody wants to have to be and do what they feel they've been called to do. The challenge becomes that most of us, when it's time to do what beasts do, we don't do it. So E.T., what do you mean? Look, I told you, I wake up at three o'clock in the morning. I just woke up recently and it was 2.45. And the average person in me said, E.T., just pull the covers back over here. It's okay. You got 15 minutes. But the phenomenal in me said, E.T., if you go back to sleep for those 15 minutes, there's no guarantee you're going to get up at 3 o'clock. If you go back to sleep right now, you might wake up and it's 4 o'clock. You might wake up and it's 5 o'clock. You might wake up and it's 6 o'clock. All you have is right now. Are those 15 minutes that sweet? that you're gonna push back your dream, that you're gonna push back your goal. Everything you've ever wanted, son, you're right there. You're so close, you're closer than you've ever been before. Those 15 minutes are not worth the rest of your life. Those 15 minutes are not worth you slipping down the chart. That is not worth it because you wake up at 3.30, some other kid's getting up at three and he's got 30 minutes on you today. So I need you not only to want to be a beast, I need you to get in beast mode and stay in beast mode. I need you to put on beast mode. I need you to live in beast mode. Everybody's got a dream. 
Everybody's got to go. Everybody wants something in life. But many of you in this room right now, your beast mode is idle. Your beast mode is not turned on. And when you leave this place, I'm telling you, your life is going to go to a whole other level if you can learn to turn that switch on and keep that switch on. When you want to become a diamond, your whole attitude change, your whole mindset, your thinking, your relationships, the decisions that you make, how you spend your time, your energy, all of it changes. See, this is something that you can't be in this business. This business has to be in you. Continue to work, continue that course, believing in the worthy cause, the end state of it all, knowing that the pressures and the problems coming are welcoming. Those are the situations that are going to formulate and mold you into the person you want to be. Accept this as the reality. Sacrifice this day for the investment in the future. Greatness. So I'm telling you in life, you start running from a class, you start running from a subject that you don't like, it will haunt you for the rest of your natural life. It ain't going nowhere. You gotta take that thing out, like, you gotta take the breath out. So some of y'all are afraid of math, go after it. Go get it. Don't run from it no more, go get it. You go in there and go get that grade. You go in there and get that information so you can pass that class. You gotta go get it. I want you to go in confidence that you've never had before. And every giant in your life, slay him. You go back and slay him. Don't kill him, slay him. I'm tired of people talking about, I want to be successful. I'm tired of people saying, I want to be great. Look, everybody wants to be a beast. And so it's time to do what real beasts do. And let me tell you something, that means getting up early, going to bed late. That means you don't go to sleep when you're tired, you go when you're done. So remember, success is never on discount and greatness ain't never on sale. I challenge you to have more. I challenge you to do more. I challenge you to be more. You gotta get this beast mode. You gotta embody beast mode. Everything about you has to say, I ain't playing. If it's to have, I'm gonna get it. And I ain't leaving none of it behind. It's mine. Beast mode. There's a war going on. Good versus evil. Light against darkness. Truth against lies. I'm talking about the war in your head. That person that's holding you back. That person that's bringing you down. That person is you. Are you going to say you want to want to do something? Do it for two weeks and then quit? Like you did last year, like you did the year before last? You say you want to lose weight, get in shape, get your business off the ground, and then turn around and party, get lit, drink alcohol, eat like crap, and continue to live below who you were created to be? No, no. Make a declaration to yourself. Declare all out war that you're going to get out of this rut. Decide today that you will no longer tolerate losing. You are going to be a winner. Be the hero of your own movie. If your life was a movie, and it started now. What would the hero of your life's movie do right now? Do that. Do those things. Write down your goals. Write down things you want to improve. Write down things you won't tolerate from yourself. Write down things you've done in the past you never want to see yourself do again. And go forth from here as the hero of your own movie. Every day is a new day, a new week, a new shot at life an opportunity to come out of the gate like a man possessed and attack the day without mercy. Today, I'm taking scalps. I'm putting the pressure on. I am the aggressor. I am on the attack. Because I will not stop. If you can't stick to something for five fucking days, you deserve to have a shitty life. You deserve to get your ass kicked. You deserve to be miserable. We're not talking about 50 years. We're not talking about the five years it probably takes to build something worthwhile. We're not talking about the five months it could take for you to lose 100 pounds. We're talking about five fucking days. And you can't even stick to it for that. So what the f do you think you deserve? You deserve exactly what you get. Think about all the people that say, man, one day if I have this, I'm gonna do this. What do you mean if you have this? Why don't you go out and make it fucking happen? The comfort zone is dangerous. When you're comfortable, you are at most dangerous. You should never feel comfortable. You should be happy and dissatisfied. 
But anybody ever tell you, hey, look, you know what? Just be satisfied with what you got. Don't believe them. Get them away from you. Never be satisfied with what you got. Because the attempt to get more makes you into something better. All the time. You should double your business. Triple it. I don't negotiate with myself. I don't go, oh, wait, I'm not ready. Or let me count to 10. Or maybe I'll do it tomorrow. There's none of that shit with me. I say you. I'm not here to discuss this shit with my mind. When I say jump, you fucking jump. Because when you get your blood pushing, when you push beyond what's comfortable, it develops this determination inside you, this sense of will. And when you do that regularly, you're going to have a different world. You have to learn to do when you don't want to do. Learn to bring that savage mentality out of yourself. It's an animalistic motherfucker. You think a savage gives a fuck about how he feels or how she feels? Then you do it. Learn to be your best self when you're least motivated. Stop looking for a feeling to control what goes on in your life. Those days that you don't want to do anything, where you're too tired, too sore, you just don't feel like it, those days, those are the days that count. When you have those feelings, it's even more important to step up and get some. If you've got something to do, don't put it off till tomorrow. Don't do that. Don't voluntarily do anything tomorrow that you should be getting done today. Get it done today. Don't wait. Attack it, destroy it, and move on. Every single day when you wake up, you got two options. You can look at the clock and hit the snooze. You can look at that snooze button, boom. You can hit the snooze button and go back to bed and dream about what you want to have. Or you can look at that snooze button, kick that clock, and get up and go pursue your dreams. And the problem with some of y'all is you want somebody else to support your dream. It's yours. I don't owe you a dime. It's your dream. If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. If you want it to happen, rise and grind. If you want it to happen, you're going to have to do what I do, and that's get up at 3 o'clock in the morning. And you're going to have to act like you got all the energy in the world. Why? Because this is my time. This is my moment. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Ain't no such thing as tomorrow. We only got today. Greatness will cost you something. It's going to cost you some time. It's going to cost you some energy. It's going to cost you some sacrifice. It's going to cost you some resources. It's going to cost you some hours of your life laying down, paying the price, going the extra mile, doing what other people are not willing to do. Greatness is not cheap. Greatness always costs more. That's why there's not many people who achieve greatness. They're not willing to pay the price. That's the kind of attitude you need. That's the attitude of a winner is I will do whatever it takes. Every decision you make, the decisions you make on Monday, the decisions you make on Tuesday, the decisions you make on Wednesday, if you decide to hit the snooze button, what you're doing is you're 10 minutes away from your goal now. You just went backwards. So whatever your goals are, whatever your dreams are, whatever your destiny is, your decisions have to be in alignment with them. Now, if you want to be broke for the rest of your life, keep doing what you're doing. But if you want something different in life, you got to do something different. You got to go all in. And mental toughness says, not only do I climb that doggone mountain, I enjoy climbing the mountain. I get a kick out the mouth. I get a kick out the weights. I get a kick out of going up against the number one team. I get a kick out of fatigue. I get a kick out of the grind. I get a kick out of it. And the reason why some of you are not where you're supposed to be, you've given yourself an option. You've given yourself an out. You've given yourself an excuse. But you have what it takes to do it. And the problem with some of you in this room, you don't have no tribe. You ain't got nothing pushing you. You have no reason. You better find one before you get out of here today. You don't belong at the bottom. And it's time for you to get your butt from down there. It's time for you to stop being comfortable at the bottom. Get your butt up and get to where you're supposed to be. You are a royal priesthood. Get where you belong. Do what you're supposed to do. Live like you're supposed to live. If for 10 years, if you didn't avoid doing what you knew you needed to do, what would you be like? What would happen if you just stopped wasting the opportunities that are in front of you? You'd be who knows how much more efficient, 10 times more efficient, 20 times more efficient. You have no idea how efficient, efficient people get. It's completely off the charts. I need you to confront you. I need you to confront you because you're the one holding you up. I need you to confront you 
I need you to look in the mirror and tell you, you are not going to do me like this no more. You're not going to keep procrastinating. You're not going to keep thinking like that. I need you. You're not. You're not going to continue to sabotage me. You're not. I get frustrated with humans when somebody's late and they upset. I get frustrated with humans when somebody borrows money for you and you don't pay it back and you upset. I get upset with humans when you go out to eat and they don't bring your food out the way you want your food out and you are so upset and you let them have it but then you disappoint you when you don't let you have it. You give you a pass. You give you a pass. You are not where you're supposed to be financially and you gave yourself a pass. You know you better than that. You know you should be further in life, but you keep letting you slide. It's time you punish you. You need to tell you no more TV, no more snacks, no more desserts, no more, no, we working out now. No more alcohol, not right now. No, I can't handle it right now. You need to tell you that you owe you something. Hold you accountable and don't let you off the hook. I want you to challenge you this year to do something you've never done before, to have something you've never had before. Any goal that you want to achieve that's worthwhile in your life require all-in effort. Every moment, every minute, every hour, every day, every week, every month, every fucking year for as long as it fucking takes for you to get where you're going, you should be consumed with that path. What you do at night matters. What you do in the morning matters. What you do when your friends are out drinking matters. What you do on Saturday matters. What you do on Sunday matters. The success clock doesn't give a fuck what day it is. It's gonna run no matter what. And you guys pretend like you can work seven, eight, ten 10 hours a day and then spend the rest of your time off and you think you're gonna be somewhere and you're not you have to dedicate every breath every ounce of energy and every thought and effort that you possibly have in your heart to becoming what it is you want to be because nothing great comes from a position of comfort everything worthwhile everything that is great comes from being in a position of uncomfortable. Nothing worthwhile is easy to get. Everything's gonna make you uncomfortable. Get fucking used to it. And if you can get used to being uncomfortable, your fucking limits are non-existent. You're gonna hit a wall. There's a period, let me tell you how it goes. When things are going real good, when you first start off, life is playing with you. You're gonna hit a wall, you're gonna be going and things look great, you're excited, you're gonna tell everybody about it. And then all of a sudden you hit a wall, wham! And that wall shocks some people. That wall stuns some people. That wall knocked the life out of some people. That wall discouraged some people. It's painful hitting that wall. In time of adversity, you don't have an obstacle to deal with. You have a choice to make. Some will choose to go back. They turn their power down. And they have defeated themselves in their minds and say, I can't do it. And there's some small number who, when they hit that wall, they decide, wait a minute, I'm supposed to be over there. This kind of person refuses to be denied. This person doesn't care about the pain. This person comes back again and again and again. And if you keep on hitting that wall, here's what happens to you, that you will have an incredible breakthrough. And it's as if the universe says, let's help him out. I admire that kind of tenacity. As you're working times with tears falling down your face, and you'll look back on the times and you will cherish those times. As you do that, as you go through that, when you come through, ladies and gentlemen, when you come through that valley, when you come through that fight, there'll be a look in your eyes that everybody will know this is a different person here. The harder the challenge, the greater the growth. Your problem, it might not make any sense. And your pain might not make any sense. And your circumstance might be illogical. But listen to me. If your life at times feels like, looks like labor, you are doing it right. Keep on playing.
pushing. There is breakthrough coming. And when you're holding your prize, the pain and the suffering will pale in comparison. Don't give up. It will be worth it. Life is 10% what happens to you, 90% how you react. And I'm telling you, the way to ignite the dream is you got to shut out every single thing and you got to believe I am the greatest. And so life normally breaks you because when it hits you, you weren't ready. But if you stay ready and you stay plugged up, when you hear bad news, it don't break you because you already energized. Today might not be the day, but soon it will be my day and I will recycle my pain. If you're gonna be successful in this game, you gotta have a dog within you. You gotta know it's a dog fight and you gotta go get that fight. Life ain't gonna be easy. Ain't nobody gonna hand you nothing. Champions keep going when they don't have anything left in their tank. When they don't have no more, when it's over, when they're tired, when they're frustrated, when they're ready to give up, when they spent their last dime, that's when they get started. It's when you have nothing left. It's when you depleted all your money, when all your energy go, when you have nothing left, that's when it's showtime. When you find a way out of no way, when you find breath that you don't have, when you find energy that did not exist, this. When you want this thing as bad as you want to breathe, that's when you find a way. People give themselves an excuse all the time when they say he's built different. Well, if you mean he gets up earlier, he stays later. He does stuff for others. He asks questions. He's humble. He works really hard when no one's around. Then yeah, he's built different. You wake up earlier than people. You stay later than people. You stay humble. You work harder than anyone when no one's there. I guarantee someone that feels bad about themselves soon will label you as he's built different. He's built different should be your label because people feel bad about themselves. You're setting the example every single day of your life. If you're gonna have a true dog mentality, you're gonna wake up every day and grind. You don't wanna go run, you go run. You don't wanna go swim, you go swim. You don't wanna study, you can study. That's how you start to callous your mind. It's gonna suck. It's not gonna be fun. Do something that sucks every single day of your life. That's how you grow. When something sucks, good. It's gonna make me tougher. It's gonna to give me a good story to tell, so bring it. Learn to bring that savage mentality out of yourself. The animalistic motherfucker. You think a savage gives a fuck about how he feels or how she feels? They just do it. Stop looking for a feeling to control what goes on in your life. Greatness is not something that you meet once. It's something that you meet thousands of fucking times in your life. And you don't reach it if you're not constantly in constant fucking pursuit of greatness. Some of you are not successful because you think effort is success. You think because you put in 40 hours that you're supposed to get some because you put in 40. It don't work like that in the school of hard knocks. They don't care how many hours you put. They just want to see the execution. So you feeling in your spirit like, yo, but I did just as much as he did. I studied just as much as he studied. It doesn't matter. You just got to execute. Lazy people do a little work and think they should be winning, but winners work as hard as possible and still worry if they're being lazy. A true dog mentality is not enough you made to the NFL. Be the f***ing MVP. It's not enough you made a 5K. Win a 10K. It's not enough you became a doctor. Be a better doctor. It's not enough you lost 50 pounds. Go out there and do something with it. And you gotta get to the point where no other human wants it for you more than you want it for you. Are you willing to sprint when the distance is unknown? And why chase this thing called winning? Because the only thing that's guaranteed in life if you don't chase it is losing. The only one that can make it happen for you is you. It's you against you out there. You have to think I am the best guy out there. You want to be uncommon amongst uncommon people. You got to be the one to get up every morning, be disciplined, put in the consistent daily hard work because that gains success. It's always you versus you. Worry about yourself, worry about what you're doing, and worry about where you're going, and only where you're going to be your best self. You're going to do whatever it takes. Do you hear me? You're going to go your own way. You're going to do what they won't do. You're going to be smart, and you are going to win. You're after the peace and the happiness and the pride that comes with knowing exactly what the f*** you're made of. A true hunter's goal is not the prize. A true hunter's goal is to hunt. That's what they live for. They live to hunt.
They don't just live to catch it, it's the whole process. When nobody knows what you're doing, when you're putting in those extra reps, it's the process that makes you sweet. I'm telling you that you gotta be possessed with the vision. I don't care if I win, I just wanna keep coming after you. You're gonna knock down whatever that rock is that's been between you and your dream. You're gonna keep after, you're gonna be relentless, you're not gonna give in. You're gonna be the person who stays excited until the entire job gets done, until that dream is real, and you know long term, all these other people, they're gonna flinch, they're gonna get weak, and you won't. In those times when you wanna quit, because we're all human here, you make sure you remember one thing, all those times and hours and days, you sacrifice to be the best. I want to encourage somebody out there who's thinking about quitting, you're thinking about giving up, this is for you. You're going through a tough time. Maybe you're walking through real depression. Maybe you are in a valley today that you've experienced the worst failure of your life and you are on the verge of giving up. Maybe you're here today and your marriage is on the rocks. Maybe you're here today and you're dealing with anxiety on a daily basis. You know what it's like to be in a lonely, dark place. You know what it's like to want to quit. You know what it's like when the pressure's overwhelming, when people expect your best, but you're at your worst. That is a moment of choice. That is a moment of decision. What will your response be? Are you going to sit back or are you going to step up? Don't give up. Don't give up. Stay in it. Stay focused. Adversity creates the perfect moment for audacity. It's in your adversity. The thing that comes out of you is what defines you. When life is squeezing you and pressure is on you, what's really inside of you? When life knocks on the door, when you go through some stuff, when you get a bad diagnosis, that's when you have to pull on your faith. That's when you have to be resilient. If it feels kind of dark all around you right now, I want to remind you, it is always the darkest before dawn. And dawn is coming. You've got to be willing to go against the tide. You've got to be willing to harness your will and say, in spite of this, I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. I'm coming back. You can decide that you're going to stand up to life. You must have faith. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in your abilities. You've got to believe in your service, your company, your ideas. Unquestionably, you've got to have faith, and that faith gives you patience. That is not going to happen as quickly as you want it to happen. But you've got to keep moving and keep plugging away. If people ask you, say, how are you doing? Even if you're having some difficult times, say, I'm blessed and highly favored because anytime you wake up and you don't have a white chalk outline around your body, it's a great day. And so I say to you, it's possible you can live your dream if it's becoming a diamond, if it's having more, if it's achieving more, if it's being a better father, being a better mother, whatever it is, overcoming addiction, changing our society. It's possible you can live your dream. It's necessary that you have a plan of action, that you're resilient, that you stick to, and you work with the system, that you work with people, that you give support, and that you be there for them, that you have the vision and never give it up, that you become creative and relentless and keep on coming back again and again and again and that it's you that you got to take personal responsibility to make it happen and that it's hard easy is not an option and when life knocks you down jump back up and say it's not over until i win everyone hits the ground at one point the question is who gets back up success is not measured on the days when the sun shines Success is measured on the dark, stormy, cloudy days. And if you can't absorb failure, you're never going to meet success. There's one thing about being in dark places. If you have the courage to stay in there long enough, your eyes will start to adjust to the darkness. Your body and mind will always adjust to more suffering, to more pain. 
If you want to push harder, know this. Your mind quits way before your body does. So you have to be willing to go way into that darkness and find more of yourself. Failure is not final, it's formative. It is part of the process. It's part of the journey. Your failure matters as much as your success. How do you think you're gonna grow if you don't ever fail? Every one of my successes is stacked on top of failures. Failure is just another peg in the ladder for me to go higher. And some of you in this room today, you need to change your mind because some of you are thinking about giving up because you're in a season of failure. But just because you failed doesn't mean that God doesn't have a bright future in store for you. It is always too soon to quit. Don't complain. Don't murmur. Don't talk negative. Average people talk problems. The greats talk solutions. My greatest moments didn't come from my greatest moments. My greatest moments came from my greatest defeats because it was during my defeat that I had to find a way to get back up. I love the sun, but things don't grow because of the sun. You have to have some rain and you've got to stop looking at rain in your life as something bad. Delay don't mean deny. Delay just mean you're going to have to wait a minute. When the unsuccessful are in delay, they get nervous, they get worried, they give up, they quit, they stop, they surrender, because they don't see what they think they should see. But when the successful are in delay, we work while we wait. We work, we work, we grind in between time. We don't give up, we don't surrender, we don't quit. We see differently, our perspective is different. And because our perspective is different, our outcomes are different, our rewards are different. I will my way through every situation, every trial, every triple, I will my way through it. I don't care if it's cancer, I will my way through it. I don't care if it's MS, I will my way through it. I don't care if I'm struggling in school and I'm trying to get a degree, I will my way through it. I don't care if you fail the boards, go again. I don't care if you fail the law exam, go again, will your way through it. Some things you can skill yourself through, some stuff you gotta will your way through. There are two groups of people. You got a boy or girl or a man or a woman. What boys do is they point the finger at other people. That's what boys do. That's what girls do. When there's a challenge and you start pointing the finger, you'll never get to the next level. When there's conflict, I want you to look at it real plain. And I want you to say, do I throw people under the bus or do I take responsibility? But understand every time you point the finger that what you say to your dreams and goals is, I'm about to put you on hold. The minute you start pointing the finger, you lose power immediately. As soon as you start saying it's somebody else's fault, what you do is say, I'm a child and I need somebody grown to handle this. When you say he did it and she did it, you're saying, I'm 10 years old, I need mama to come in. I need daddy to come in and fix this. It's too much for me. You gotta take ownership. I take full responsibility. And I'll do whatever it takes. I take ownership. I'll get up, I'll stay late. And that's why you point the finger. That's why you say he did it and she did it. Because you don't like how the pain feels. That's why you give the power away. Because it hurt too bad to say, I did it, I take ownership. It was my fault. You ain't ready for the pain. You've never looked at yourself in the mirror and said, you let you die. You owe yourself. I didn't get here making excuses. No, I didn't grow up on that side of the town. No, my mama don't have no network. No, I don't know a whole lot of people. No, I'm not at a country club, but I'm still gonna be successful. I'm still gonna get to where they are. Why? Because I owe it to myself. And can't nobody stop me but me. And you need to get rid of them excuses. You need to stop pointing fingers at people. And you need to start pointing fingers at yourself. What did you not do? The decisions you make right now is up to you. Take full ownership. Hold you accountable and don't let you off the hook. I'm talking about you. The only person that you can actually control, you. That's who has to take ownership. That's who has to step up, own everything, and lead. I value myself enough to give 120% or don't do it. At some point, you gotta be f***ing tired of not being number one. You have to be, and you gotta f***ing play angry, and I play angry. It's always you versus you. You gotta be the one to get up every morning, be disciplined, put in the consistent daily hard work because that gains success. No coach, no trainer, no mentor, no boss can do it. You versus you.
I need you to look yourself in the face and I need you to repeat after me, this is my life. These are my dreams. I can have whatever I want to have. I can be whatever I want to be. I can go wherever I want to go. I can do whatever I'm bold enough, whatever I'm big enough, whatever I'm strong enough to dream. And what I need to do it is already inside of me. My goals will not be defeated. My dreams will not be defeated. I will not be destroyed. I will defend what's rightfully mine. These are my dreams. This is my life. And from this day forward, I will live it. Take ownership. Take extreme ownership. Don't make excuses. Don't blame any other person or any other thing. Get control of your ego. Don't hide your delicate pride from the truth. Take ownership of everything in your world, the good and the bad. Take ownership of your mistakes, take ownership of your shortfalls, take ownership of your problems, and then take ownership of the solutions that will get those problems solved. Take ownership of your mission. Take ownership of your job, of your team, of your future, and take ownership of your life. And lead. Lead yourself and your team and the people in your life. Lead them all to victory. No one's coming to lift the weights for you. No one's coming to study for you. No one's coming to put in the hours for you. No one's coming to do all the hard work for you. You have to do it yourself. Are you making yourself better? Are you making yourself worse? Are you moving forward or are you moving back? Are you making progress or are you stagnating? Every little decision you make counts. So when you make your decision, make the right decision. The price of regret is much harder than the price of discipline. The discipline weighs ounces, the regret weighs tons. If you want to live a happy, healthy, successful life, you've got to pick to go through the pain now and enjoy the peace later. Do not fall victim to the short-term gratification that is whispering in your ear, telling you five more minutes is fine. You can sleep in. You can eat that just this once. You can take the day off. You deserve to take a break. Shut that voice down. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, your life will be easy. Your habits are the building blocks of your life. It's what you do every single day that matters more than anything. Doing things that are a break from your routine are going to require force. So you have to force yourself to be uncomfortable. Get out of your head. Get out of your feelings. Your feelings are screwing you over. If you listen to how you feel, you'll never get it because you'll never feel like doing it. Decide you'll do it no matter what. Commit yourself to the regime. You get up when you're supposed to get up. You study when you're supposed to study. You go to the gym when you're supposed to go to the gym. You work when you're supposed to work. You do whatever it is you told yourself you were gonna do long after the mood you set it in is left. If you don't control your mind and your mind controls you, you're fucked. You gotta take control and tell your brain where you wanna go and what you wanna do. Because if you don't, you will always be a loser. You gotta decide that you're gonna do something and you gotta do it every day of the fucking week. The problem with some of you, you just hope that good stuff is gonna happen to you. You gotta get up and make shit happen. You guys don't have unlimited time here. The world isn't gonna stop and time isn't gonna stop. Guess what, that's the way life is. You don't have enough time. You gotta make time. Those at the top who become the best, they don't let too many terrible days create negative momentum for themselves. They're obsessed about stacking great productive days back to back to back to back because they know if you do that, the level of momentum created after a year, two years, three years, five years, 10 years of doing this becomes so massive that you start creating automatic wins based on your daily routines. Because it's not easy for you to continuously have a packed schedule day after day after day after day after day without you winning. All in is not 50%. All in is not 60 hours a week. All in is not I worked a Saturday twice a month. All in is not I missed one birthday party. All in is all f***ing in. 
you better learn to get really, really used to being uncomfortable because nothing great comes from a position of comfort. Everything worthwhile, everything that matters, everything that is great comes from being in a position of uncomfortable. Nothing worthwhile is easy to get. Nothing worthwhile can you get by not being uncomfortable. Everything's going to make you uncomfortable. Get fucking used to it. And if you can get used to being uncomfortable, your fucking limits are non-existent. Take control of your feelings. Take control of your emotions. Take control of your job. Take control of your problems. Take control of your future. And take control of your life. A war. And there are people out there and there are things out there that are trying to take you down. Things are going to go wrong. And when things go wrong, don't fail the test. Don't fail the test. Don't give in. Don't quit. Don't ever quit. Fight on. Fight through the storm. Fight through the pain and come out the other side stronger and tougher and better. A fighter. A survivor. A winner. Victorious. And free from that storm. Free from the darkness. Life can be hard, but you know what? It's the one life you've got. So go and live a life that in the end allows you to look back and say, hell yes, I do it all again. It isn't in a war. It isn't in a battle. It isn't in a melee of fire and destruction that most of us succumb to weakness. We are taken apart slowly, convinced to take an easier path, enticed by comfort. Most of us aren't defeated in one decisive battle. We are defeated one tiny, seemingly insignificant surrender at a time that chips away at who we should really be. It isn't that you wake up one day and decide, that's it, I'm going to be weak. No. It is a slow, incremental process. It chips away at our will. It chips away at our discipline. We sleep in a little later. We miss a workout, then another. We start to eat what we shouldn't eat and drink what we shouldn't drink. And without realizing it, one day you wake up and you've become something that you never would have allowed. So, you have to be vigilant. You have to be on guard. You have to hold the line on the seemingly insignificant little things. Things that shouldn't matter, but things that do. It's not about winning. It's the battle itself. It's the struggle. It's the daily test. That's what life's about. I want to struggle. I want to grind and claw and scratch and I want to dig in and I want to push. And I don't want it to end. I don't want to rest and I don't want to coast. And I want to reach a point in my life where I say, I've done enough. No. Everyone listening to this, here's the deal. No complacency. No complacency. No backing off. No slack whatsoever. Fight. The standard is the standard. We don't lower it. We compete. We fight. We scrap. We live to fight another day. We don't retreat against nobody. That ain't talent. That's essence. That's core. That's who I am as a person. That's how I get down. That's how I'm coming. That's what that is. And every time you get ready to stop, Every time you get ready to quit, that's you as a man. But when you press forward, in the midst of the opposition, in the midst of the adversity, you're building a mentality that's gonna sustain you 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now. 
Because you want some different kind of results in your life, you've got to be willing to be unreasonable. If you want unreasonable results in your life, you've got to be willing to be unreasonable. Part of being unreasonable, you don't judge according to appearances. Part of being unreasonable, you can see it because you believe it. That's part of being unreasonable. Part of being unreasonable, you must have the faith to call forth those things that be not as though they were. That's part of being unreasonable. And so I started going to work earlier. I started being the last one to leave there. I started working harder than anybody else. The other guys could not. Why would you work so hard, Les? I said, I'm not working for them. I've been cheating myself and my family. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, do it with everything that you have. Develop the habit of giving more than what you're paid for. Develop the habit of setting standards that others will be measured by. Someone said, do not go where the path may lead, but go where there's no path and leave a trail. No one's coming. No one's coming to push you. No one's coming to save you. No one's going to work on that project for you. No one's going to study for you. No one's going to work out for you. It's up to you and you alone to get it done. It's your job to make yourself do the crap you don't want to do so you can be everything that you're supposed to be. And you're so damn busy waiting to feel like it. And you're never going to. Nothing happens until something moves. Nothing is gonna happen in your life until you get up and start moving. So make movement, move forward. You must discipline yourself to get up and get it done now. Well, what about jet lag? What if there's a time change? What if there's no good gym? Don't care. Time change? Don't care. Jet lag? Don't care. Don't have a good gym? Don't care. Just shut your mind down. It gets no vote. Set up your gear, set up your weights, and do the work. Just do the work. Go through the motions. Get it done. The greatest version of you is not the I can do anything version of you. The greatest version of you is the disciplined version of you. The greatest version of you is the version that has parameters. No, I don't do that. I don't drink that. I don't go there with these people. I'm focused. I have a prize that's in front of me. I know what I'm supposed to do and that ain't it. I have to stay right here. Most people can't succeed because they can't deal with all the old motherfuckers pulling them off the game plan. You're gonna have to get real fucking comfortable sticking to your own plan and telling them no when they wanna go out on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You gotta let everything go with that thing you pursue. You can't chase two rabbits and catch both of them. And the biggest thing I see getting in the way is your fucking feelings. F your feelings. Where there's a will, there's a way. When you've got air in your lungs, then you have no excuse. It's just a matter of perspective. You're either gonna be a fucking sheep, or you're gonna be a lion. You're gonna be an attacker and a go-getter. But if you want to sit there and cry, bitch, and moan and whine all the fucking time, what you can't, 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 then you sit your ass on that bench with the losers, and you stay there. But don't expect me to turn around and pat you on the back and say, hey, good job for being a fucking quitter. Get up and do something about it. Either get better, or you're getting worse. You're sure as hell not staying the same. A conversation's coming. A conversation's true versus you. Hell, our black goes off. It's time to get after it. Stay hard. Stay in the fight. Get the gun. Life ain't about medals, certificates, houses, money, cars, fame, all that bullshit. It's about scars. The scars show your willingness to get to the side. They show your failures. They show your willingness to start from scratch. They show what you're willing to do to go the distance, to see what you're capable of. Everybody's living off the hope factor. They hope the water's never cold. They hope the weather's fucking good. I don't live off that hope shit. I wish the water was cold. I wish the fucking rain. When the end is unknown, and the distance is unknown, that's when you know who the fuck you are. I want to know what the fuck I'm made of. I want to know what I can overcome. And I know that the harder the obstacle to overcome, the more strength I'm going to gain from it. It's about taking personal responsibility for your life. It's about no more excuses. It's about no more trials and tribulations getting in your way. It's about getting up as early as you need to. It's about doing whatever it takes. Can you count with a march on count of people? And that's the warrior way. Know who you are. Who do you want to be? Without a shadow of a doubt, whatever it takes. 
say an alligator is so ferocious it'll kill a lion, but I can kill an alligator with my bare hands. How? You kill it right after it eats. Because right after it eats, it gets satisfied. And it goes to a state like it's almost paralyzed. Some of y'all in this room, were you paralyzed? You had a little success? You've done what nobody else in your family has done and now you chilling? Come on, you ain't hungry no more? I need you to stay focused, why? You should still be hungry. What have you eaten that's got you satisfied? What have you done? What have you accomplished that got you so full? It is never finished. You always have more to do. Another mission, another task, another goal. So don't be finished. Be starting. Be alert. Be ready. Be attacking. Be relentless. Let the enemy stop. Let the enemy rest. Let the enemy finish. You don't finish. Don't stop. Don't rest. Not until the enemy is completely destroyed. I got to stay hungry. I try to keep it humble. I walk around, I don't even want people to know who I am. Why? Because I still want to have that dog. I still need to stay hungry. And when you got pride, it gets in the way of you being hungry. And you need that hunger. But y'all ain't got no dog on motor. You get tired quick. You do a couple hours, you tired. Man, you gotta have that dog. You gotta take that personal. Every single year, your appetite should go up. You should never get settled. You should never get content. Every single year, I want to be successful. I want to execute. I want to make all my dreams become a reality. So my appetite increases. It gets stronger every year. I want more. I want to do more. I want to help more. Every year, I want to be bolder. I want to be better. I want to be stronger every single year. All men are created equal. Some work harder. Some get up at 2.30 in the morning. Some of us just grind. Some of us don't make excuses. Some of us don't surrender. Some of us don't give up and give in. What we do with the pressure is we say, I gotta take it, and I gotta take it to another level. True champions get hungrier every time they win. They don't reach a peak. They don't reach a pinnacle. Winners dominate losers. Legends dominate winners. And your mentality on this earth should be that you want to dominate winners. Legends feel fulfilled and happy because they do what they have to do to be the best there ever was at whatever it is that you do. Just winning is not enough. You're not maximizing your potential. You're not becoming who the f you could become. But dominating people who are winning, that's something that'll leave you a fucking legacy. When you're passionate, everybody cheers you on. They're stoked for you. Oh, you found your passion? Awesome. Follow your passion. Live with passion. Be passionate. Chase your passions. Everything. Like passion, 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 passion. Passion's good. Like the world's gonna be like, yay, passion. When you're obsessed, they're like, why are you gonna be so crazy? Why can't you be satisfied? Why do you always gotta get things so perfect? Why do you spend so much time here? When you're obsessed, people think you're nuts. So it's different. If no one thinks you're crazy, you're not yet operating to the outer limits of your potential. You're not there yet. Because somebody in your life should say, man, you really care about this in like a crazy way. It's time to stay focused. It's time to decide clubs, partying, trying to fit in and socialize, rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird. Why are you so antisocial? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you not clubbing? Like every time I text you and invite you to go do something fun and cool, you always study it because I'm trying to get it. The more weird you are is a reflection of how committed you are to focusing on your sh molding and shaping and developing your ideas and your craft so that when it's time for you to make your rounds, you're going to fly. You still got work to do. Stay on that basketball court. Stay on that football field. F all the homies texting and calling and trying to make you feel bad about being so focused. It's grind season, homie. 
I'm obsessed with improvement. Every day I'm getting better. There are those of you with phones, and every new phone that comes out, you get it. Every upgrade, you get it. Every piece of software, you get it. You are upgrading your technology, and you've not upgraded yourself. So listen to me, there are those of you who said, I want to be a millionaire, I want to be the best at this company, right? But your value system says you believe in sleep more than you believe in grinding. Your value system says you are a consumer and not a producer. If you're going to go to the next level, your values are going to have to change. We do not retreat, we do not give up, we do not surrender. And the reason why most of you are not successful is because every single time stuff's not going your way, you give up, you quit, you let go, and people feel weakness, they feel it. You can feel when somebody's not committed, when they're not all in, when they're not dedicated. And there's another level you get to when you go all in. You have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the dream. You have to see it when nobody else sees it. You have to believe it when you cannot see it. You gotta be possessed with the dream. And I dare you under every single circumstance, keep looking at your dream, keep focusing on your dream, keep going after the dream because that's where true success is. You know how many times people say things like, close your eyes, visualize with me, it's five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now. What does your house look like? What does your car look like? Imagine having a house with a swimming pool and it's a four story, you got elevator, you got this view, you got, okay, that's great. But how about we do it in a different way? Close your eyes, go 20 years from now, and you don't do nothing. You stay the same as you are today. How many divorces you got? What happened to your family? How about the people that said you're gonna quit and they say, I told you so. Every single time you have to appease to their opinion becoming factual because you gave up on your dreams. Say, that's the real exercise. And if you're okay with that, keep living life the way you're living. The reason most people fail is because they give up what they want most for what they want now. You don't have to work hard, you don't have to eat right, you don't have to sleep right. You don't have to do more than what's required of you. You don't have to do anything that you don't want to do. But you also don't have to win, you don't have to be a success in life. And that's why so few people achieve great things. Because they don't want to sacrifice, they don't want to discipline for some greater. So you see all these people that have great things in life that you look up to? It's because they were sacrificed and disciplined long before you ever knew them. You gotta get tired of losing. At some point, you gotta be f***ing tired of not being number one. And you gotta f***ing play angry. And I play angry. You gotta work every f***ing day. It doesn't end. Just all pissed off for greatness. Just if you ain't pissed off for greatness, that means you okay with being mediocre. I can't relate to lazy people. We don't speak the same language. I don't understand you and I don't want to understand you. It's the fourth quarter. Once this year's over, you can't go back and add nothing to it. What kind of competitive sees the finish line slows down? Hear what I'm trying to tell you? Close, 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 close. Why? Because the world treats you different when you close. The world treats you different when you can finish, where much is given, much is required, but you're going to get the rewards. Rewards come after you work, not before. The only place where success comes before work is in a dictionary. You look for excuses. Look for solutions. That's what winners do. Losers are always looking for the excuse. Well, the winner looks for the solution, man. Why don't you put the energy into the dreams that can be? The reason why you're doing that. If you are, you're not working hard enough, you're not studying hard enough, you're not burning the midnight oil every night, which prevents you from staying awake in the midnight hours later in life wondering what it could have been. You erase that sh** through all of this f***ing payment, guys. It's free. You don't need to shoot up for it, you don't need to snort, you sweat for it. And then when you leave here, it's an abdominal will, it's been nurtured. You don't think about second place. You think about first, and then a legacy. And building the gap between you and every other f-ing person. Those times when you get up early and you work hard. Those times when you stay up late and you work hard. Those times when you don't feel like working, you're too tired, you don't want to push yourself, but you do it anyway. That is actually the dream. It's not the destination, it's the journey. The top of one mountain is the bottom of the next, so keep climbing. Everybody's living off the hope factor. They hope the water's never cold. They hope the weather's f***ing good. I don't live off that hope shit. I wish the water's cold. I wish the f***ing rain. 
when the end is unknown and the distance is unknown, that's when you know who you are. You will cry. It's some stuff that will happen in your life that will make you cry. It's okay. It's a part of the deal. If you can't handle pain, you don't want success. You gotta look at life when life knocks you down and says, this all you got? Is this it? I was born in the dark, shaped in the dark, molded by the dark. I will break you. You recycle your pain. You use your pain. And some of you are not successful because every single time you run up against a trial, every time you run up against a tribulation, you stop. And what I'm here to tell you is, if you tell that thing, I'm here just like you here, and I promise you, I ain't leaving without the degree. I will not leave without that goal. I will not leave without that dream. I will not leave this university until I'm successful. I will not leave this job. I will not leave this client. I will not leave this opportunity until I get it. And you will have to fight and fight and fight and fight. And most of you won't be successful, not because you can't do it, but you can't outlast your old you to get to your new you. You must have patience and engage in consistent action. Look at your belief system every single day and stick with it. Don't rush the process, trust the process. Don't rush the process, trust the process. Don't rush the process, trust the process. Everybody dreams of greatness. Everybody wants to be great. Everybody dreams of greatness, wishes to be great, talks about great, idolize the great. Everybody wants to be great, but only a few when that moment presents itself. Only a few when that time has come. Only a few are willing to step up to the moment and actually execute. When you're dealing with another human being, it's not how tall he is. When you're dealing with another human being, it's not how big he is. When you're dealing with another human being, it's not how strong he is. At the end of the day, it comes down to will. Your dreams count on you, push. Ain't nobody about to give you no cookies and ice cream, push. It's a lie, it's inside. How do you know you feel it? You dream about it, you eat and sleep it every day. When people talk to you, tell them, this is what I'm gonna do, so push. Just push past the fight, push. Don't quit, don't get, push. Push your way to success. It's going to rain sometimes. I will. I will. You're going to feel discouraged sometimes. I will. I will. No matter what the obstacle, I will. I, will. I, must. I must. Live extreme and push your boundaries. Why? Simply because there will be no other time for you to do this. You can dream of these things, but understand you can also achieve them. The moments that take your breath away are the ones that count. I don't care if you've been beaten to the floor, if your legs are too tired to lift that weight. Break through that barrier and create new ones for you. When there's a will, there's a way. When you truly need something, you can find a way and you stop at nothing to reach it. The inches we need are everywhere around us. They're in every break of the game, every minute, every second. In any fight, it's the guy who's willing to die who's gonna win that itch. It's not easy reaching your goal. It's not easy changing your life. It's not easy trying to build a business and people are negative and saying no every day. It takes a lot of guts. Bill collectors are calling and your phone might be cut off. And you might lose your job. It takes a lot of guts. You don't have nothing but lint in the corner of your pocket. You ought to talk about living your dream. And people laughing at you and they're doubting you. Well, let me tell you, I believe in revenge like Frank Sinatra. He said the best revenge is massive success. It takes guts. You got to dig down deep to gut it out. Keep on going again and again and again. It's hard. No easy is not an option. However, ladies and gentlemen, what you will discover is that it's worth it.